Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing some American Girl food sets. Some of these items were gifted to me by American Girl and some of them I purchased myself so I'll let you know when I purchased them and when they were gifted to me. This video is a shopper's gift guide. We'll just be taking a look at some detail from each of the set and the overview of the items to decide whether or not it's worth the price. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first set. I actually purchased the first three sets here from American Girl. They're all from the Truly Me line and of course they're all themed to food. So the first one here is the blender milkshake set. It comes with a blender, two glasses of milkshake, and multiple accessories. Of course, everything's all wrapped in plastic, so I'll remove all of the accessories out of the box so we can take a look at the first two items. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first two items a part of the set. So here we have two glasses of milkshake. Of course, it is chocolate flavored, and the glasses are a lightweight plastic material. There's a whipped cream design on the top and a cherry too. The next item here is a vanilla ice cream box. It's made out of a paper material, so it is very lightweight, and there's some nutritional facts on the side. And the box is a cream and blue color to match a lot of the other items in the set. A great accessory to tie along with the vanilla ice cream is, of course, an ice cream scooper. It's made out of a lightweight plastic material, and it has a blue handle as well. And in order to make the milkshake chocolate flavored, there's some chocolate syrup, there's a red cap, the label's also red too, and there's a really fun polka dot design on the front. One of the most interactive pieces in the set would definitely have to be the blender itself. You can turn it to different power levels, but of course it doesn't actually work. There's no section to attach any batteries or anything. It's a silver and red color and the lid is removable, but the liquid is stuck in place. It looks like it's in the middle of blending. And this piece is actually removable from the blender itself, so you can remove it, you can pour it, and then you can go ahead and add it back onto the item as well. And there's also a handle on the back, so this item can be carried around too. Overall, I really do like the set. I think it's a great price for all the items that it comes with. The blender is really interactive, and it just comes with basic accessories that you need in order to make a milkshake, which makes it quite realistic. The next set we'll be taking a look at is the Williams Sonoma Cupcake Set. So American Girl did partner with Williams Sonoma to release this set here, and of course it's all themed to cupcakes. The box seems to be significantly larger than the other ones, so I'm really interested to see what's inside. I think it does come with a cupcake stand, which is why the set is larger, so it's able to hold it. There is an image on the front of the box to see what's available in the set, so let's go ahead and take everything out. Now that we've removed the package off of everything, let's go ahead and take a look at the first two items. So the first piece here is a spatula. It has a red and blue handle with the American Girl Star logo on the bottom. And the other item here is a set of sprinkles. This item is a lovely addition to the set. It is a book about baking. It talks about cookies, cupcakes, and more. It is a paperback book, so it does have a soft cover rather than a hard cover like a lot of the books that American Girl normally releases. And just to give you an idea on what the book looks like inside, there are images and there's different recipes, which you can read, but the font is a lot smaller as it's meant to fit into a miniature size book. A cupcake set wouldn't be complete without some cupcakes. There's a total of four here. Two of them are chocolate and they have pink icing with some white sprinkles on the top and the other two are vanilla flavored cupcakes with some blue icing and some red sprinkles on the top. There are a total of four cupcake holders, one for each cupcake and they're really pretty. They're blue with white polka dots on them. They're plastic and they're really sturdy. So when you put them in, they stay in place and they do fit really nicely, so let me go ahead and grab the front cupcake and I'll add it into the cupcake holder. The next set of items here are some cupcake accessories. There's a cupcake pan and a cupcake stand. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pan first. It's a red color and there are four compartments for the cupcakes. They do fit really nicely, so we have the vanilla cupcake followed by the chocolate one. And I'll be leaving the front two compartments clear so I can place the other two cupcakes on the cupcake stand. There's a hole there at the top so it can be carried around and there's a total of four different sections again. So I have them in the cupcake holders and they do stay on the stand when you move it around. Overall, this is a really lovely food set. I really do like how it comes with a baking book and then there's also a cupcake pan and a stand too along with the cupcakes as well. Again, this set does retail for $24, so all three items do retail for $24 in total, so it's so interesting to compare all three. But this one here is the Waffle Breakfast set. It comes with quite a few different accessories, and there's also an image on the top of the box to see what the set looks like. So let's go ahead and take everything out to see what else there is. And now that the plastic has been removed from the set, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the smaller accessories. The first two items we have here are some forks. 
A popular condiment to add on top of waffles is definitely syrup, so we have a syrup container included in the set. I really do like how the plastic is clear so you can see the liquid inside. This here is a picture of orange juice. There's a lovely design on the side and it's clear so you're able to see the orange juice inside. Here we have some fresh fruit and there are two clumps of strawberries. You can't have a waffle set without some waffles of course. There are a total of two included in this particular set and they're shaped as hearts. I think this would have to be my favorite item so far. It is the Waffle Maker. It is a silver and pink color with the American Girl star on the top. The lid does open and close and there's a clasp that holds it in place. The waffle actually does fit inside to make it look like the waffle is cooking. And in case if you're wondering, the lid does fit over the top of the waffle while it's in the waffle maker. Let's go ahead and take a look at the plates. There are two plain white plates, but they have a gorgeous design on top of them. They're very brightly colored. And just to give you an idea on the sizing of the plates itself, here we have the waffle. And I've just placed the strawberries on top of that. You can see both items do fit on the plate. It is slightly squashed, but you can fit both of them together. And this plate over here is from one of the retired American Girl waffle sets I purchased quite a while ago and to give you an idea of how it looks in comparison to the new one you can see that the waffles are still heart shaped but they're all clumped together and everything is all stuck onto the plate so nothing is removable but you can see that the idea of the syrup container has not changed much one is slightly wider than the other but the styling looks exactly the same I really do like the detail of part of the set. It comes with the waffle maker, which I think is a lovely tie-in with the waffles and the rest of the accessories as well. Overall, these three sets would have to be some of my all-time favorite American Girl accessory sets just because they're so classic and simple, yet I really love the idea and theme to them. So of course, the first one was themed to milkshakes and drinks. The second one was themed to cupcakes and desserts. And while the third one was, of course, themed to breakfast. So let's go ahead and open a review another food theme set from American Girl. This set here that I'll be opening and reviewing was actually gifted to me by American Girl, so I did just want to say a huge thank you to them. Let's go ahead and take a look at this truly me accessory set. It's called the City Market Goodies. It's surprisingly quite a heavy box, so I'm interested to see all of the items itself. There is a photo here showing an overview of everything that is included, so let's go ahead and open up the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the food items that are included in the set. So first off we have two small pies. There is a cherry pie and a blueberry pie. You can see that there's a lot of detail to them. These items are quite lightweight so they're easy to carry around at the farmer's market. We go ahead and take a look at the items. They are removable so it's separated into a total of three different pieces. You have the main part of the tray, there's also the base, and then there's the pie itself and that's the same for the blueberry one as well. A market set would not be complete without some fresh fruit. So here we have two apples. They're very similar. They're also quite large as well, and they're really great quality too. The next item we have here are some raspberries. They are all clumped together in one piece, but there is a container to store them. You can see it's a lightweight plastic material, and there's also a clip, so it's able to close like so. The bread is really great quality. It's quite heavy but it is made out of plastic material in case if you're wondering, but it does look like a fresh piece of loaf bread that you find at the market. There's also a sleeve for it too. You can see it is made out of paper material. It might bend quite easily, so you may need to be careful about that, but it does say American Girl Market on the front and it does fit in like so, so that's how it originally came in the set. The next piece here is some goat brie cheese. There's a sleeve on the top. It does look very realistic. There's a picture of a goat and there's also some stars. Over here is the classic slice of cheese. Over on the other side, there's some sparkling freshly squeezed lemonade. This item here is a cheese board. There's a piece of ribbon wrapped around it and there's also labeled too. There's some money included in the set so you're able to purchase some items at the market. A lovely addition to the set is the sunflower. You can use it in a room setup. You don't just have to use it for this set. It just looks like a classic sunflower. And then right next to that, there is a napkin and it's a light pink color. And the last item included in the set is the bag itself. It is a cloth material and you can see that there's a stripe design on the front. There is orange, blue, green, and pink, and there's also some handles on the top as well. On the inside, it's just a plain white material, but I'm going to go ahead and place some of the items in the bag itself. 
Overall, I would definitely recommend this set. It comes with some really great items. What I do really like about it is that it comes with a lot of food pieces, so you don't have to use it as a market set. Your child could use it just as general food items for their 18-inch dolls, and everything does seem to fit in the bag really nicely as well. I'm going to finish off by adding the lemonade over in this corner, and then I'll place the cheese on top as well, and the bag is all full with different goods. Let's go ahead and take a look at Mary Ellen's refrigerator and food set. It retails for $150 and it comes with multiple different items, some smaller accessories, some food pieces, and the fridge itself. So this set is from Mary Ellen Larkin's collection and she is from the year 1954, so she is a historical character, which means the items from this set will be themed to her time period. As you can see, a lot of the items here are wrapped in plastic, so it'll take a while to remove all of that, but when I do, I'll go ahead and show you some of the smaller accessories first. The first four items in the set are orange sodas and the packaging is clear so you're able to see the liquid inside. The next set of four items are butter. You can see there's butter written on the front of each stick and they are surprisingly quite heavy even though they're made out of plastic and there is a small compartment on the fridge door for them to be stored away. This item here is gelatin. It's a dark red color and there is some detail on the top to make it look as realistic as possible. And the item next to it is a plate. It's a gorgeous light blue color and the gelatin fits on top like so. A common item to be found in a refrigerator is milk. There are two pasteurized milks in the set and it's very similar to the soda where you can see the liquid inside because the outside packaging is clear. The next item here is a food piece. It is ham. You can see it looks like it's been sliced on one quarter, but then the other section is completely covered. There's some detail around it and it's stuck onto the plate so it's not removable. And to follow along with the ham, there's a casserole dish. There's some detail within the casserole itself and the dish is a light pink color. There's also a lid which is removable too. There are a total of four jars that come in the set. So the first one is strawberry jam and the second one is grape jelly. Here we have some relish and of course, last but not least, English mustard. This item here is a lovely addition to the set. It's ice pops, it's orange flavor. There's packaging to be able to hold the ice pops itself and then there's the actual item too and you can see that there's two popsicle sticks connected to one. Another common item to be found in a refrigerator is of course ice cubes. There's an ice cube tray and you can lift the handle up which lifts the ice cubes too. There are a total of three frozen TV dinner sets. The top one is macaroni and cheese, the middle one is fried chicken, and the bottom one is beef and gravy. These items aren't related to food or drinks, but they're instead furniture items. There is a table stand, and there's also two small tables as well. And the tables are actually removable from the stand itself, so let's go ahead and talk about those. So they're both made out of a plastic material, and it's interesting because you can completely remove the top part so it turns into a tray. And then these sections here also connect as well or else you can turn the tray into a table, of course. There's some clips underneath the tray itself, and what you're meant to do is you're meant to connect them to the bottom part of the table, and then you attach the other side together like so, and it should be able to stand up. And just to give you an idea on sizing itself, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the TV dinners that I showed earlier, and it does seem to fit on the tray really nicely, and there's also some space on the side if you'd like to add one of the sodas too. One of the main features of the set would definitely have to be the refrigerator itself. It's made out of a very heavy metal material, so it might be quite costly if you're planning on shipping the set, but I do have to say I definitely would prefer this over the plastic just to make it a little bit more realistic, and that's why it's at such a high price point as well. So the fridge door does open and close, and there's this gorgeous pastel color scheme to it. It's teal and pink. There's some eggs along the fridge door, but they're not removable, and there's two small sections that don't have any eggs on them, and there's also a shelving unit over here too to place condiments. The drawer does completely remove from the fridge, and you can place it back, and then there's two shelving units on the top there. The freezer part of the set is located right above the fridge, and that door opens and closes, and there's multiple sections in there too. So now I'm going to go ahead and set up the refrigerator just to give you an idea of how the set looks once it's completely set up. So over in the top freezer, I've placed the ice cubes, the TV dinners, the butter, and that fits in that compartment really nicely, and the ice pops as well. And over in the fridge door, I have the milk and the jars as well with the relish, and then there's one small section for a soda. In the main part of the fridge, I have the gelatin and also the sliced ham as well, and then there's a small section on the other side just to add the rest of the soda bottles that didn't fit in the door. 
This is the fridge from the front and I love the peach color. It really suits Mary Ellen's collection. You can close it really easily. And it's really solid quality because it's metal on the front as I said before. And also along here. It's silver and it says American Girl and there's a little handle so you can open it up easily. And I've just placed Mary Ellen next to the fridge just to give you an idea of the sizing of the set. You can see it is slightly smaller than Mary Ellen. But the set right next to the refrigerator is the Gourmet Kitchen and it does seem to fit along with the sizing with the rest of American Girl's furniture and accessory sets. Overall, I really do like the set. There's a lot of detail on some of the smaller accessories and the fridge is really great quality too. This set here that I'll be opening and reviewing was actually gifted to me by American Girl, so I did just want to say a huge thank you to them. The next set we'll be taking a look at is the American Girl Airline set. It has multiple different accessories, including the set itself, but there are also some food items as well. Of course, it's a part of the Truly Me line, so let me go ahead and unbox everything so we can take a look at some of the smaller accessories. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the food items that are included in the set. So there is a meal provided. First off, there's some pasta. There's some basil or basil on the top, depending on how you say it. There's also some tomato pieces and cheese as well. It is flat on the bottom, so it should be able to sit on the plate like so. The next item here is a dinner roll, which is very common to be served on a plane, and it does look very realistic. And the last item here is some butter. It is made out of plastic material, in case if you're wondering. Of course you can't go on an airplane without a ticket, so you have a ticket right here. It seems like it's leaving from LA and it's heading over to New York, which is exciting, and it says AJ Airlines boarding pass, and then we also have a book as well. I love the detail in this book because it's so realistic, and they do also have a Smart Girls Guide collection available that you can purchase yourself, and now that there's a miniature one available as well, that's really fantastic. If you can take a look at it, there's small writing, which you can probably read, and it's just so realistic, and there's illustrations as well, all about traveling. Let's go ahead and take a look at the two cookies that are part of the set. They're exactly the same and they come in this thick packaging plastic. So I don't think you're meant to remove it out of the plastic because it has the label on the front. It says brown butter toffee shortbread cookie on the front. If you take a look at the back, there's some more detail as well. And also there's a total of two in each set. These two items are more for entertainment or more for comfort on the plane, so you normally bring them yourself. So the first item is a neck pillow. It has such a fun summer design on it. There's pineapples and some of them have little heart-shaped eyes as well. You can see that the main base color is green. It's a light mint green. There's a tag here as well, which I'm sure I can remove later on. It has the classic American Girl logo on the front here, and it's quite soft as well, so it should be able to fit around the neck. We also have some wireless headphones. It has the same color scheme as the tablet, which I do like. It ties the whole set together, and it's wireless, so you're able to listen to the movies on the plane, or else you can also use the tablet that's included in the set as well. The next item we'll be taking a look at is the tablet. The color scheme is very similar to the one from Grace's collection a couple of years ago. If you take a look at the item, it's quite small, so it's easy to travel with, and there's a stand on the back, so you're able to stand it up as well. This set also does come with a stylus pen. You can see it's pink and white too. And there's also a small little compartment on the side of it. So it's able to stay in place and you can also remove it as well. There are a total of two different screens available and they're double sided. So there's a total of four and there's also a small hole in the section here. So you're able to slide it in and out. So it's constantly interchangeable. So on one of the screens, it's more activity based. So you can see over here, there is a game of Sudoku. And then on the other side, there is a reading book and it's actually Blair's book and you can read one of the pages. It's definitely really great. And then over on the other side, it's more game based. So this one here is some sort of Just Dance game. And on the other side, it is another game that includes a horse and the Nikki doll as well. So I'm just gonna show you how it works. What you do is you grab the side that you want, you slide across, and it stays in place. And then when you're finished with that, you can remove it. And the quality seems to be a lot different from the other ones. So it's a lot easier to slide in and out, and it doesn't seem like it would break as easily. So I really do like the change of the quality for these slides. The next item here is a water bottle. It says AG Airlines Spring Water. It is very similar to a classic water bottle that you have. It's quite lightweight and it's made out of a plastic material as well. There's a fork, a knife, and there's also a towel too. I'd say this one is a lot thicker than just a classic towel. It's more of a beach towel material. 
Before we go ahead and take a look at the tray, here we have the plate. You can see it's not just a classic style plate. There's a little bit of an arch. If you take a look at the back, that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and place all the food pieces down to see if it fits. So first off, there's the pasta. The next item is the dinner roll that can go in the top corner. And then the last item is the butter. Everything does seem to fit on the plate really nicely. The last two items included in the set is the tray and the placemat. The tray is a plastic material. It has the American Girl star in the middle, and it's such a dark green color compared to some of the other items in the set. There's also a placemat as well. One thing I do have to say about the placemat is it's made out of a really thin paper, and when it arrived, it was all bent. You can see it's curved up at the top. So I was kind of hoping it would be made out of a different material, but I'm still really glad it is included in the set. It says AG Airlines on the front, and then there's a plane on the background. It's a gorgeous purple, mint, and white color. So now I'm going to go ahead and set up the tray with the food items. So overall, I would recommend the set. It comes with so many great items. I do really love how interactive it is. It has a tablet, the headphones, the neck pillow, and the food set itself. If you do plan on purchasing this for your child, it's definitely really great because you can use the tablet not just for a travel set, you can just use it generally as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just place these down. And I also have the cookies as well. I'm not sure if the cookies will fit, but I'll just place both of those down like so. Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing a Truly Me accessory set. It's the American Girl City Market. I do just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me the set so I'm able to open and review it on my channel. So if you already know my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the set. You might need to wait until the end of the video so you're able to see the full review. This video is a shopper's gift guide to be able to see the items in detail in the overview view of the set because it is quite hard to see the photos on the website and also in the catalog to determine whether or not you'd like to purchase it. So let's go ahead and open up the set. It does retail for $100 and it comes with multiple accessories so let's take it out of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first item in the set. It is the market itself. It's a two-tiered stand and on the front it has market estimated 1986. 1986 was when American Girl was made so I think that's a lovely touch. And as I said before, there are two different levels to display items, so you can show some items on the top and also on the bottom. The set is quite heavy because it's made out of both wood and metal, so it should be really sturdy and secure and it shouldn't fall over. Over on the side here, you can see the metal that's holding the set up, and there's also a section underneath for storage too. I'm going to go ahead and show the rest of the accessories of the set on the stand itself. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it back over to the camera and I'll start showing some of the smaller pieces on the two tiered levels. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the smaller items. So the first three pieces here are actually display boxes and they're two tiered so you're able to show more items which I really like because there are a lot of smaller pieces in the set. They are made out of plastic so they are quite lightweight so they're easy to move around and I do love the detail and design on them, especially the marbled effect on the front. I think it really does suit the rest of the stand and the accessories too. The set also does come with a sticker sheet with different labels so you're able to label the goods on the stand and there's small price tags as well so you know how much everything is. The first set of accessories we'll be displaying are some jams. There are a total of three in the set and we'll be able to stand them all on this small display shelf. So the first one here is flavored to raspberry so it says that's my raspberry jam on the front and it's a dark red color and there's also a white cap on the top which is very similarly styled to the next one here and this one is that's my apricot jam and it's more of an orange color while the third one over here is that's my rhubarb jam and that's a lighter pink strawberry color. I do really like how all the different jams that they chose are very natural colors so it fits with the rest of the items in the set. If you've been to the markets before, an item that is very popular are of course soaps. So this set does include some. There's a total of two different types. There's lavender and then there's also pine. But what's really interesting about these items is that they're actually scented which makes it so unique. So here we have the lavender soap and you can see once you remove the paper label it just says soap on the front and that's what the back looks like. I'm going to place it back into the label but it says goat's milk soap lavender and the scent is just so strong. There's a total of four soaps 
so two of each type so I'll place the second one in front so we have them on the display shelf and then the other one here is a lighter green color and it is pine soap it has quite a refreshing outdoor smell which is very different from the lavender so I really like how they have different scents for both of the soaps you can see that they're styled exactly the same with the soap written underneath the paper label so I'm just going to go ahead and place that back into the paper label and I'll put that on the back row and then of course I do have another one to place in front as well so this two tier display shelf is full so let's go ahead and move along to the next accessory there is a fabric table runner that's included in the set and I would have placed it on the top shelf except I've already kind of started to set that up so I'm just going to place it on the bottom shelf since I haven't added anything down yet you can see it's a gorgeous fabric design there's polka dots on it and it's a very light pink color too I do like how that's included in the set as an extra option so you can choose whether or not you'd like to display it so let me go ahead and grab that last display stand and I'll place it right at the end of the table so we can add in the next set of accessories. And since we are placing some food items down, the set does include a small cloth that you can place on top of the display shelf. This item is surprisingly a really bright teal color. I was expecting more of a pastel item, but I still think it's a lovely addition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing the scone pieces down. There's a total of four in the set. And there are some berry pieces scattered throughout it. You can see that the scones are quite large compared to some of the other items in the set. You can see that they're nearly the same size as the actual soap that's right above it. I'm just going to be placing two pieces on the top and two pieces down on the bottom. There is a section on this market stand that's dedicated towards samples for the scones. So we're going to go ahead and place down the plate first, and that's just the base item. You can see it's styled very similar to the one that was in the travel set as well. It has an arch on either side, and I'm going to go ahead and place this clear bowl down, and that holds the jam. You can see that the jam is all clumped together in one piece, but it does look a lot more realistic once it's placed in the bowl itself. But I do really like how it's not stuck into the bowl itself, so you can use that piece in another set. And then it also does come with a butter knife too, which definitely does help out with the samples. Just to finish off this section over here, there is a two-sided paperboard stand that just sits on the stand itself, so they're able to read to see what's available. There are fresh berries, tulips, jams, scones, and also the soap as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half, also fold the bottom creases as well and I'm going to connect those two pieces together so it does look like a stand and I'll just add it right to the back of the table because we do need to add some more accessories in front of it too. And of course you need something to complement the jam with for the tasting. There are some scone tasting cups. There are a total of three in the set. They're quite lightweight because they're made out of plastic and the scones aren't removable inside. They're stuck in the cup itself. The sign did mention something about fresh berries and there are some blueberries and strawberries included in the set. There are some containers. I'll go ahead and place the first one down and here we have the blueberries and then we also have some strawberries as well. I do really like how the containers aren't stuck with the fruit itself so you can remove it and add them back again. Personally, I would have preferred if the small teal cloth would have been matching with these purple containers. I think it would have brought the set together a lot more, but I still really like how they're using a lot of pastel colors. The next item we'll be placing down is a sidewalk stand and actually stands up by itself, which is great. It's a gorgeous light pink color and it's styled to look like a chalkboard even though it's not. Let me go ahead and stand it up here. It says today jam tasting, enjoy. But it does look like actual chalk has been used to write on it and on the other side it is completely plain and there are another set of stickers included in the set with writing so you're able to stick the stickers onto it so you're able to personalize it and it just has some of the items that are for sale on the stand. But I'm going to go ahead and leave the stickers for now. I'll place them over to the side and we're going to turn the sign so it's facing the right way as this one's kind of plain but on the other side it has more writing so let me go ahead and move it over so we're able to set up the display. One point that I did recognize from the set with a lot of the packaging, they tried to use a lot of paper materials. So over here we have two paper boxes. I'll go ahead and grab the second one later on, but it actually opens and closes and it's really great if someone wants to take the scones or the soap, they can go ahead and grab the paper box and they can store those items. So I'm going to go ahead and stack the second one on top. They are both identical and exactly the same and I really like how you can open and close it. It just makes it more realistic rather than having it just stuck down. 
The next item here is a mason jar vase. I do really like how it's styled as a mason jar to make it a little bit more trendy and modern. And inside we have some fresh tulips. Of course they are made out of plastic, but I'm going to go ahead and stretch them out as they've been stuck in the packaging for a while and they should be able to stand in the vase itself. I do really like the contrast of the colors between the flowers and the set itself because they are so bright and colorful compared to the pastel shade used with everything else. Let's go ahead and just add a few essentials to the market stand. So first off, there are some dollar bills. There are a total of five in the packet. And then we also have some business cards too. There are a total of two in the set and they're quite small. There is a different design on either side. So on the first side here, it says fresh local goods with some more writing. And then on the other side, it says American Girl Market with the logo. So I'm going to go ahead and place that next to the money. And the last item of part of the set is actually the apron. It's my favorite item in the set as it ties everything together. You can see it has a denim material, but it's very lightweight. We have the American Girl Market logo on the front, and there's also some pockets on the bottom. There is Velcro on the back, so it's easy to open and close, and there's a total of two different straps. I'm just going to go ahead and add the apron over to the back here. Hopefully, it does stay in place. And here we have an overview of the American Girl City Market set. As I said right at the start, it does retail for $100, even though it is a pricier set. I do really love the amount of detail that's used with all of the accessories and the City Market stand itself. If you're looking for an interactive set from American Girl, I would definitely recommend this set. I love how the soaps are scented, and there's a lot of detail with some of the smaller items as well. If you'd like to see more photos of the set, be sure to visit my Instagram. It's at AGO Receives Fan. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.